you've worried. The second I don't need you anymore, you're gone. You've wondered. She's trying to get pregnant behind my back. What's going on? And this February... What if the chemo didn't take? What happens next? I'm here because of Lizzie. I was told that you kidnapped her. We'll make it all worthwhile. Stay away from stuff. What do I have to do? Rip your head off? Put your hand off me. This week on CBS Daytime. Hey, how's it going? Not good. I, I can't seem to get past dear Buzz. Just, um, I don't know. Tell him how you feel, Reba. That's what I've been trying to do. I'm sorry for your loss. Words can't express. Sounds good. No, it doesn't. It sounds cliched. And, and Buzz is a whole lot more than just a friend, and I want him to know it. Why don't we just go see him? That's what we should do. You're right, we should do this in person, and we should stop and see Daisy, too. Coop was her uncle, and with Dylan out of town on business, and Harley not coming back for the funeral. Okay, so we'll go see Daisy and Buzz, and we'll get it all done. I know that you had something planned for today, but can it wait? No, it can't. Why won't you tell me what it is? Because it's a surprise, and it has to happen today, trust me. Hey, good, yeah, you're here. Let's, uh... Let's go. Uh, where are we going? Uh, Daisy left me a message. She's completely brokenhearted about it. I know. And um, with her parents being gone, I figured it's time for the grandparents to step up, okay? I was just telling Jeffrey the same thing. Well, and apparently when Shane got the news, it hit him pretty hard. It took him straight back to Lara. So, yeah. all roads lead to this road. Uh, sorry, boys. Today, that road is closed. We were just actually heading out. We're going to go see Buzz. Well, good. Let's, uh, let's all have a cup of tea here. We'll all go together. Okay. Okay. Time moves and echoes. Do you want me to get that, um, tell him to come back at a better time? There is no better time. Terrible coffee. How you doing? <laughs> Whatever you need, I'm here. So is Jeffrey. I need you. So not, is the whole family. I need you not to give birth here. <laughs> My little guy here, and, and your guy gone. I miss him. I know. I know you do. Nothing. From Shane or Donna? No. Well, maybe he's not with her. Maybe he's with Edmund. You think? I don't know, but if he's not going to return our calls, we, we have no choice but to go over to his, his motel and look for him, right? No. No. Absolutely not. Reba's not available. For his son? Not available, okay? You can go chasing after Shane, but leave Reba out of it. She's sick, and she's pregnant, and enough is enough. Josh, I'm sorry if you aren't connecting with Shane, but dragging Reba into it and trying to recreate the family is not the answer. Oh, no, you didn't did dinner. That's okay, boss. No, Jeffrey came by, uh, well, it was a couple weeks ago, and, and uh, he wanted me to create a menu, so some, some of your favorites, you know, to celebrate for, for tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Oh, my chemo. That's, uh, well, I didn't want you to find out like this. I, I'm sorry, it's... Uh, 
It's not just any chemo session. It's, it's your last one, and all the doctors told me uh, that that's an important hurdle to get over, and I, I thought we should, you know, celebrate. Look, I can still put something together. No. You don't have oh, to do anything, no. Buzz, please, okay? I got a backup anyway. It's okay. Why not? Because, Buzz, really, how can I celebrate when you're going through this? Because it's life, and it's precious, and you should celebrate it. Could put more up that way, okay? So, you know, think of me when you make a toast. I love you. I love you. I love you. More cider? What? Oh, yeah, thanks. It's okay. You can call Shane if it makes you feel better. Well, if it makes you feel better, it wasn't Shane I was thinking about. Okay, then call Buzz. I know you want this to be a celebration. And you're right. Tomorrow being my last chemo session, that is a big deal. Yes, it is. It's just that when I think about the doctor telling us that I had cancer again, I remember feeling so angry and... Like it was so unfair. And then I think about what Buzz is going through. We're the lucky ones. Boy, oh boy, when you decide you want to make something a special occasion, you go all out. That's right. Open it. Oh, it's a little too big a box for jewelry. Come on, come on, open it up. <laughs> Is this? It just struck me that tomorrow, that's it. No more chemo. And you'll be done with it. You'll be on to the next phase. So it's like I'm you're... Graduating. Like you're graduating. It is like I'm graduating. And you are too cute. Not many people can get away with calling me that. <laughs> After what happened with Coop, I just, you know, I want to treasure every moment with you. And I don't want to take anything for granted. So, here is to the end of your cancer. And here's to all the important people in our lives. And those that aren't here anymore to meet our beautiful baby. <laughs>